Hey everybody, today I am going to look over um, CoinOps Legends 3 for the Steam Deck. Uh, some of you may know that I was active in the CoinOps community back for the ALU when you know I first got it, and I've been you know looking at all the emulators and stuff for you know, the Steam Deck. You've got Emu Deck and uh, some other new ones that are coming out. One that actually saw an installer for it in the Steam Deck, uh, at least in desktop mode. So, but, um, you know, they released CoinOps Legends 3 for the deck, and I wanted to go ahead and give it a shot, see what it's like. So I'm going to do a short install video here. You're going to go ahead and see the motions of some of it. I'm not going to waste time having you guys watch me copy files over or uncompress files. But we'll go through the motions, show you where everything is at, and you guys can get a peek at how this looks on the deck and get my opinions as I'm playing with it. So let me go ahead and head over to My Steam Deck, which appears to have turned itself off, I believe. Let me see here. There it is. All right. So I have gone ahead, downloaded, and unarchived the CoinOps X Legends 3 package for the deck. I have it sitting on a uh, thumb drive right now. Let me see if I can get this cursor to come back. There it is. So... What you want to do is take this tar file, which you'll find here is TZ file. I've got it currently on my dual USB. So inside here is a dot, you know, tar dot GZ file. You can take that. I want this installed on my uh, internal memory. So I'm going to copy this over to home. Say copy here. It's going to tell me that I've already got it, so I'm not going to overwrite it. So just pretend that it copied and you watched here for five minutes while it copied over. Now we come over to home and see we have that file right there. It's in the, the main root. What you're going to do now is right click on it. And then you're going to go over to extract and just say extract archive here. That'll take a couple of minutes. It makes a folder, the CoinOps Legends 3 dash deck folder. So that is sitting there. And at this point, you don't need this tar file anymore. So go ahead, right click, move to trash. I'm going to go ahead and empty trash because I don't like having big files like that hanging out there. There we go. And so we go into the CoinOps Legends 3 dot deck folder. Inside here, a couple of folders, a couple of files. The one that's most important here is the install file. So we're going to go ahead and double click on install.sh, uh, select execute. And they say this install process takes five to 10 minutes. I didn't see it take that long last time. So let's see here. Installing a bunch of stuff in the flat pack. All right. At that point, you have actually installed it. So what do we do next? We have to add this to Steam. So right now, obviously, we're in desktop mode. But if you go ahead and right-click on coinops.sh, click Properties, you can go ahead and, let's see, Properties. Oh, we want to change the name. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, 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 sorry. Skip, 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 skip. My bad. I'm doing this in one take, by the way. So we're going to right click and we're going to go ahead and say add this to Steam. This will make this available to us inside Steam itself. So now that we're there, let's see, open Steam in the desktop mode. All right. 
So I'm going to open up Steam here in the desktop mode. I'm going to find that in our library. Let's see. Going to be uncategorized. I'll just search for CoinOps. C-O-I. There we go. So I'm going to right click on CoinOps.sh. Properties. And I'm going to rename that. We're going to call that CoinOps Legends 3. Hard to see my cursor there. Space. Legends 3. All right. Uh, also, while we're in here, we're going to right-click this empty square. And we're going to, let's see. It said right-click that square, didn't it? Uh, and I'm going to change the icon. Now, where's this icon at? It's going to be inside a folder called Steam Artwork. Inside there is the icon.png. Hit open. And now we've changed the icon. So I'm going to go ahead and save that shortcut. And now you can see on the left here what it looks like. Now, there's a couple other ways uh, to get the other art going, but let's just go ahead and, and walk through them. I'm going to literally launch this game quickly. Yeah. Let's see. Actually, I should have gone right before launch, so let's exit out. All right, so here we got a blank header. I'm going to right-click up here. I'm going to say set a custom background and then we got to find that folder where we were at again. So that is going back to home, going into, oh, let's see, all right, home slash deck, sorry about that. There's the coin ops folder, the steam artwork again, and then we're going to go ahead and choose the header. That was the wrong one. I did that on purpose. So I can show you how to clear the background. So set custom background. I'm going to go ahead and say the hero background. There it is. And then I'm going to right click again and we're going to set that custom logo one more time so that it shows up here. All right, there's only two more places we got to change this. Let's go ahead and play it once. Because we want to go ahead and find it in the recently played and in our library. So I'm going to escape out of that. I'm using a keyboard right now. So go back home. You can see here in recent games that it looks pretty boring. We're going to right click there. Again, properties, and we're going to find, oh, sorry, try that again. Right click, let's see, set manage, set custom artwork. And since we're in the recent games, let's find the one that says last played. There we go. And there's one more, and that's going to be the big tile. So what we're going to do is go to our library, home, and scroll down until we see that CoinOps X, or sorry, CoinOps Legends 3. There it is. Right click, manage, set custom artwork. And this one, we're going to choose the portrait library PNG. And there you have it. You've actually installed CoinOps X, or CoinOps Legends 3, I keep saying CoinOps X, on your Steam Deck and made all the cool logos you need. So with that said, let's go ahead and quit out of here. 
and we can go ahead and return to gaming mode and we'll see things from there. That should just take a second or two to go to gaming mode. I'm going to grab an Xbox controller. Let it pair up really fast. And fingers crossed, we get gaming mode. It's that simple. Uh, and again, this comes preloaded with a whole bunch of games. Let's see. Here we go. See our graphics are all showing up here. All right, when it first starts out, it starts out in, uh, let's see, what mode is this? Okay, right now I'm going back and forth. Left and right is going to change uh, between the games in here. I'm a fan of seeing the cabinet art, so let me go up to settings. And while I'm in settings, I'm gonna change the themes. You've got a cabinet theme. They call it a fast theme. The Legends theme, which is what we started off in. A marquee theme, as you see the marquee is bouncing there. A spinner that kind of goes at the top. A vertical theme. A wheel. It's my second favorite. And then change between day and night mode. I'm going to go to the cabinet theme because I like seeing the marquees and things like that. I'm going to choose that. And now I'm going to go ahead and it'll restart Legends. Alright, so first we're in all games. Then we got a couple playlists here going left and right in this one. Gets me to the playlist. I got arcades, consoles, favorites. The favorites is loaded down right now. Uh, to go ahead and favorite or unfavorite a game, you can see it blinking down there, the heart gold around it. Go ahead and hit the um, three lines, and that will add or take away favorites. So right now, as I'm doing this, these games are being removed from favorites. There is one of my favorites right there. Uh, so is Galaga. Let's check out some of the other playlists. You've got Last Played. Old school games. Looks like there's 112 in there. 90 beat-em-ups. 111 running guns. And again, I like how the cabinets change back and forth on these. So that's why I chose this uh, layout. It's like 76 fighting games. 132 shoot 'em ups. 44 racing games. Even saw Virtua Racing in there. Looked pretty cool. Sports games. Puzzlers, and we're back to settings. So let me go back over there. Let's launch a game and see how it plays. I think I was playing a shooter earlier. Let's see. I'll just go through here, find it. Alpha Mission 2. Go ahead and launch that. So I didn't have to, you know, copy over emulators. I didn't have to copy over ROMs or anything like that. The whole package was complete. All curated. All right, so here, insert a coin and hit start. Try that. Just get a little bit of gameplay here. So you can see how good it looks. I believe right now scan lines are on. I'm going to have to uh, disable that because I'm not a fan of scan lines. Here, mileage may vary, but. Let's see. As you can see, everything is just set up and working just like it did in any other Coin Ops version. Whether you played it before the desktop, whether you played Coin Ops X on your uh, at games devices. So let's see here. To get out of this. That button to get out of this. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and hit the Steam button and say I want to close out the game itself. And now.
now I'm back into the main front end. Hit the steam button again. And go ahead and hit exit game. And we will jump out to our normal screen. So what do I think of uh, Coin Ops Legends 3 on the deck? Well, one, I think it's easy as heck to install. The only parts you didn't see me do were um, copying over the file, going into desktop mode, and unarchiving the file. So that was just to save time. Uh, if you've done any installs before for emulation, you know how to get the desktop mode. Uh, and what method did I use to transfer the files? I went ahead and put them on a USB drive, plugged it into my hub that I'm currently using to stream this right now or record this. And there it is. So less than, I want to say, 15 minutes from copying it over to the Steam Deck and archiving it. And you're up and running with hundreds of games pre-done, all pre-configured. You don't have to mess with any emulator settings or button settings. It's just working. So to me, this is a great curated package. Uh, in the past, the CoinOps team has gone ahead and done various packages, uh, different games and things like that. So, you know, that. To me, if you want something very, very, very easy, and with most of the classic games you you want to find, um, whether they be on the console or arcades, this is the way to go. Um, I may install another emulator on top, like EmuDeck, but to me, Coin Ops Legends 3 is going to stay on my deck. So guys, that's what it is, uh, you know, in a nutshell. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. And uh, make sure you like this on the way out if you like the video and you want to see some more of this kind of content, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for joining me.